Hi guys, welcome back to the Rainbow Reels with Panos. I'm Matt. We are reacting to episode 4 of Fellow Travelers. Mm -hmm. In the last episode, we saw Tim and the Hawk go on a little trip. Yes. For Hawk, it was a work trip. And they had an argument. Like always. Like always. Because Tim takes it all personal and is always upset. Yes. But uh, we also saw quite a bit, we, or we learned more about Frankie and then also Marcus, which mm -hmm. was quite nice uh, to see that there are quite a lot of similarities uh, between the two couples, mm -hmm. right? Um, so yeah, this is episode four. So let's dive right in. Let's go. Oh, it's Christmas time. Oh, this guy looks upset. What's happening? Maybe he just got fired or something? Maybe. Oh. Could he be gay and they just investigated him or something? Oh no, wait for it. He's gonna run in front of a bus or something. talking about a governor who supports the far-right fascist Prop 64. Jerome. Hawk. Hey. Hey. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Is that his son? <laughs> he lives with us. Former student. Hmm. Oh. So. Homeless when I met him. So we're seeing Martin here in the future, in the present. Where's Frankie? Now his sister gave me my marching order. Right. He needs to rest, but he thinks he's leading a revolution. Tim says you got tested. I'm not worried. That bullshit doesn't work anymore. Well, go fuck yourself, my friend. Watch your fucking language in my house. Oh, oh, speaking of the devil. Everyone is staying to watch that bitch on 60 Minutes. Our old friend Roy Cohn. Oh, I he's still it. around. I love. What are you talking about? He is still around. Of course, he's still around. Frankie is in control. Oh, Frankie put a spell on Martin. Whew. I love it. I'll go grab us some more beers. I wish this was that easy. I said, "Baby, can you go and fetch something?" <laughs> I do. <laughs> I'm in total remission. Lying. Huh? Are you? Dying of AIDS. Oh, no, I do not have AIDS. Stop. Oh, this is cold. Yes. yes. They want to know if you are a homosexual. Anybody who knows me, my aggressiveness, my toughness is totally incompatible with anything homosexual. It's a lot of words. <laughs> For saying a gay okay. person cannot be tough or aggressive. Exactly. Like... exactly. Oh, this bitch. Him being investigated. Mm. Did you find it? I put it in your desk. Did Miss Addison see it? She hadn't come in yet. Uh, she saw the book though. We'll be watching you. Be careful. <sighs> he needs to take that book. Mr. Morton to see him. Fuller. Sir? Change your mind about tonight. Uh, just a little holiday soiree. Just bureau heads and their wives if they have them. Soiree. Actually, sir, my schedule just cleared up. Now, Edna will be delighted. Well, I'm looking forward to it. Edna? Is it Edna Mont? I don't want to go to a soiree. No. no. Only Frank is uh, the host. Is he calling up Lucy? Lucy, darling. Ever since Shine was drafted, Cone has been demanding weekends off, reduced basic training, even custom-made boots. Ooh, a gay like custom-made boots. Of these two men being fairies. 
There <gasps> is a simple solution. Fire Roy. Damn. Yo, this whole thing's going to have to be investigated. Maybe even in front of television cameras. Ooh. Set up a meeting with Adams this week in New York. I'm taking the missus to see Oklahoma. You're coming. Tim is coming? Are these the custom boots? Mm -hmm. Probably. Stop it. I need another weekend pass. Hey, Private. Nice boots. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> he is a meme. If they have but boots, also like way like... to stick out, mm -hmm. you know? Especially that fur with them boots. You, me, Brandy. Eat when we want. Fart when we want. Imagine the phone is wired. Yeah, imagine. But it just feels like he's uh, wrapping him around the finger, you know? He notes what's what passion, uh, passions? Buttons push to push. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. McLeod. Fuller. Senate Affairs. Yes, of course. May I introduce the stunning Miss Smith? And what an insufferable prig. Get ready. Mm. It's going to be a fun night, Lucy. Did you say prig or pig? Prig. P-R-I. Gee. She looked good though, one has to say. That color was beautiful on her. Shocking the way you're turned away from that club. Fine piece of writing. Well, oh, pitch me some leads, we'll take it from there. A, uh, a Negro writer writing about the Negro experience. Mm. We're interested in breaking barriers here. I mean, at least some of us are. I was just about to say, just a little. He wants just a bit of that experience, right? He doesn't want all mm. of it. Uh, there's a smaller bathroom on the fourth floor. It'll give you more privacy. <sighs> no. He's like, oh, well done on the article, speaking about these issues. And it's like, you go to a separate toilet. But at least he said it. At least he said, I'm embarrassed to even bringing it up. So he is very much in his support. And he's like, I want you. And I'm against what's happening, but you better use that other bathroom. Special agent in charge of investigations. Pleased to meet you. We believe we have reason to ask you a series of questions. What reason? We're not at liberty to say. Are you at liberty to say who gave you this reason? That is also confidential. Please have a seat. Right. What is your marital status? Single. He's like, gotcha. Mr. Foley, please get up and walk across the room. Girl, stop it now. What? See, see that walk? Yes. Oh my God, this is so ridiculous. This is wild. Please return to your seat. This is wild. <clears throat> Philip opened a large cupboard filled with dresses. This is the book. That's all for today. Unfortunately, we're seeing an average of one suicide per week. <laughs> you ever worry that someone might kill you instead? Mm, I like is it. that a threat? I like it. Oh. You'll have to return tomorrow for a polygraph. Cooperation is mandatory. Oh. Sure. <laughs> he just thought I'm gonna say one more smart, snarzy mm. thing. And he's like, hold on, let me open the door and show you something else. <sighs> Damn. How is he gonna get out of that pickle? That nonsense is a test of manhood my mother could pass. He is deeply sincere, and you're going to hurt him. Why is she there? Oh, why is she listening? Talking about? <sighs> yeah, I saw what he wrote inside. You wonder. You reported him. <laughs> Back down, bitch. I am wonderful. So why don't you just suffer? Ah. <gasps> 
uh eat we, her because we can up. we can play this game both ways pasta what else peanut butter damn i'm here for it though i'm oh, here drama. for it throw her out of the window oh, bitch throw her out of the window no don't throw her out of the window but <laughs> Also, he casually looks after him now. What's Lucy saying about it? When he's straight? I certainly know what it's like to lose someone. Of course you do. Mm -hmm. How is Lucy? She's managing. Ah! But never really feels managed. Maybe Lucy's brother? Skippy, I can't make that call. I am married. I have a family. Grandkid. I'm assuming Lucy's brother died. From AIDS? Maybe. You know the bathhouses are closed! Oh, God damn it. <laughs> I'm sure you can find a back room set up for anything! Fuck you! Aww, these two. I want to see what he's going to do about that polygraph situation. Mm -hmm. But I guess he's a good liar. He's very convincing, huh? What? This is right there. The oh, oh. oh. oh fuck it. I should have told you about the meeting. <laughs> Why can I never say no to you? I'm irresistible. He is, and that's why he's gonna pass that lie detector test. The polygraph. Look at him. What? Is this the first time? It looks it. That was quick. It was. Merry Christmas, Timmy. Go have, wash it. Have some sugar glaze. <laughs> oh, he's beautiful. Look at his profile. Jonathan Bailey. That jawline is beautiful. Merry Christmas. A ring? Stop it. Cufflinks? Yes. <gasps> With Hogs initials. Shouldn't it be HT? Why is it HF? Hmm? It's, it's HF. HF. Yeah. Yeah. Hawkins Fuller. Should it not be HF? Uh, HHT? Hawk, Hawkins and Tim? Hmm. But also, like, he can't wear them because people are going to be like, oh, why are you wearing HF? Like, it's not your name, you know? Hmm. Give this to Shine tomorrow. No one else. Oh. What? Here, here we go. He's using him again. Yes. Will it hurt anyone? Yes, David Shine. Will I see you again? What a weird question. Yes. He's not He's saying. Not saying. That is so weird. Why? Because he knows that he needs to become more serious with the senator's daughter. Maybe. Tim is like, what is going on? Hello. Is my husband there? Oh my god. I'm sorry, it's Lucy Fuller. How are you? Getting by. My god. How are you? Getting by. This is crazy, no? That... Interesting relationship. No? Yeah, they're, like, they're kind of in a similar situation. Yes, they are. Right? I love how he went to the drugstore. <sighs> uh, but I also want to know more about them. Mm. I want to know more about their relationship and how they've reached this point, you know? Well, I guess we have four more episodes to find out. 
Um, here we go. Here we go. Is he being safe though? But he's definitely uh, drunk. He seems drunk. Well, Hawkins being Hawkins. Also, we're not showing any of this because YouTube. Oh, no, no. <gasps> not him being. Is he being. Oh, almost. Almost. Yeah, he didn't want that. He just wanted a BJ. Fuller, gone. Please. Oh. No, look at him, the preparation. Damn. Damn. See, that's what impresses me now. He's, he's good. He is really good. He's always in control, mm. always. But is that how you prepare for the test? See, maybe that's a good idea. Before he goes to the polygraph, he needs to... We shouldn't... Yeah, of course this pose is up now. Is he gonna do the same with this? Well, but he also picked the wrong magazine. Look at her. <laughs> I mean, girl. <laughs> Here we go. See, I would, I would fail instantly. He's good. As general counsel for the army, I have to protest the extravagant pressure brought on by Mr. Cohn. Because Mr. Cohn called to inform us it was vital he work out of a penthouse in Manhattan. A penthouse in which he apparently spends a lot of time with Mr. Cohn. Ooh. Private Shine is a patriot above all else. He will go wherever he They're gonna start fighting each other. Right, McCarthy is gonna be Roy, you need to have you ever been present at a Washington, D.C. establishment called the Cozy Corner in Mid-City? <laughs> mm -hmm. He's like focusing on yeah, yeah, yeah. other things, you know? Wow, he's good. And he's like, what are you doing? How are you doing it? Have you ever engaged in sodomy? Yes, last night. And I mm -hmm. loved it. You should try it. No. Now we know why he picked that magazine. That particular issue. Why is he so sure though to... considered yourself to be in love with another male? To catch him. Like, do they have some kind of information? Well, do I they guess. know? I guess he was followed. No. Uh, is he gonna fail this question? No, he's not gonna fail. He's no. just gonna say no. Are you in love? I believe my marriage to Joe is ordained by God. <laughs> People trying to stab my husband in the back. What happened? Husband? Are they married already? Yeah. When did they get married? That was quick. Let them die. Hey, he is. Mr. Shine has arrived. You're late. The stupid driver got lost. On purpose. You'll be sorry, Mr. Adams. You can't blackmail me. We're not going to back Boy, down. What happened? Joe, what's going You're on? A... Tell me what's Bartender. going on. Bartender. This is a Whiskey, mess. Meat, quick. Joe, what happened? Army's bringing charges. <sighs> The Senate Subcommittee on Investigations. <laughs> My committee. Haha, <laughs> he's gonna be sitting in that chair on the polygraph. Give it to him, Timmy. It says confidential. Are they going to that penthouse in Manhattan <laughs> to fart? <laughs> yes, I mean. Can we please? Tim is enjoying himself now, being that little spy. <laughs> Timmy's like, <sighs> no, I think he's a bit stressed. Clean as a whistle. Mm -mm. Go now. Don't say anything else. Oh, uh, your cufflinks. Let me see the other one. Oh my god. Mm. H and F. 
Fordham, my alma mater, and history, my major. Mm. Smart. He already thought about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, he needs to be prepared. Yeah, you can open it. Ooh. Is, Is it, it Tiffany? A necklace or bracelet? It's a bracelet. What wow. is it? Sapphires? Diamonds? Put it on. Emeralds, no? emeralds? Show us. Close up. Oh, the brother. I'm just getting started. What is it with him and Hawkins? We need the backstory here as well. He's so unhappy. And no one knows why. He's gay. Ooh. Hello, Franklin. Look at the arms. Look at his like his shoulder. Especially in the wow. dress. I live. You know who also is living? Martin. These two are amazing together. No? This is good. Not about the reindeer and the elf. <laughs> I was gonna say. Yeah. <laughs> Takes me out of fantasy. <laughs> I mean. Did they ask you if you ever loved another man? They did. And did you think about Tim? For a second. Hey, you passed. You're celebrating because you don't love Tim? Or because you're such a damn good liar? Damn, Martin. Can you just enjoy the moment? That is, that is the real question. McCarthy's gonna fire me to save his skin. Oh my god, it's gonna open it uh, in front of him. It was just meant for him, no? Roy, it probably is a dream. Is it pictures <gasps> of him too? No, it's the pictures of McCarthy. It's the evidence. No! Oh my god, they're gonna start fighting each other. What we said, no? No. Oh, I'll be damned. No, this is crazy. Then crack open the brandy, Dave. We're not going anywhere. No. Oh. Even with the receipts, hotel receipts, or whatever it was. Sweet potato pie. Frankie looks good. Merry Christmas, Santa baby. So who would have thought that these two will be still together? Well, nice to see that they're still together in the 80s, you know, so many years later. Mm. Ugh. Oh. That is hilarious. He would like, he's gifting her the bracelet and then right after he's going to the... I was just but thinking also, the same. But also, he's cheating on Tim. Tim. Like, Aww, bless why is him. he doing that? Oh. I don't know. Skip. Oh no. What happened to him? He was on the thing, no? In the bar. Oh, I didn't see that he got hurt. What happened? What happened? Did he f did he fall or something? His glasses? Mr. Fuller, where's Tim? The hospital. What, what happened? happened? Had a seizure. Oh. It's bad. And he was supposed to be here. Ah. Oh. What an episode! Ho ho ho! It's Merry Christmas. Merry that was actually a gift to us. What do you think? <laughs> was it a gift? <laughs> it was a gift because you know what? I was enjoying myself throughout the whole thing. 
he was a bloody roller coaster. I enjoyed the fact that we saw McCarthy and his little boy band, boy group, <laughs> crumbling, eating each other, stabbing each other's backs, and eventually at the end... Yeah, they're now fart- fighting against each other. What you were about to say, farting in the hotel. <laughs> farting. <laughs> They're, they will fight even more now because yeah. Roy and David have the evidence that Fuller uncovered. It is going to be wild. Right. What do you think? I need to... Process it. Process. Because actually a lot happened. A lot know? happened. Let's talk about the most poignant, one of the most poignant parts, which was the polygraph and him being investigated. Yes. Questioned and investigated. So I was thinking, like, who accused him? Right, who reported who him? Reported him. Which, then obviously we in a way, it was obvious. It yeah, was yeah. his assistant. I knew right away when the moment he was asked to read out of that book, yeah. because that was the book that Tim gifted him. And it, it, you knew right away it was that bitch. But then at that party, she even admitted it. Yes. I was like, why? Like, why would that you do that? I thought was crazy because she probably thought she's untouchable because he's gay. But no, no, no. Yeah, he's gonna destroy her, which I'm also here which for. we haven't seen yet. But yeah. like. I'm, I'm sure, sure they're gonna show us one quick scene next next episode and then it's gonna be over because she's not important enough yeah. to yeah. He will just fire her, like I'll, like I don't need you as my assistant anymore. No, I think like, he'll do maybe one thing and then fire her or something. But I mean I hope so. Right anyway, he prepared really well for the polygraph in particular, right? He he did uh, he, he he was reading up on it and then he also did tests and how to control his yeah. um his pulse and his so heart rate. So whenever he had to lie he was obviously just focusing on these not so beautiful things, not so beautiful images, to like take him away, calm from him down, or like lower his pulse. Yes, you know? yes, yes, which was pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, but also, I think the investigator at one point uh, he was literally saying, "Answer the question." I think he probably knew. Oh, this guy is doing He's something here, using some tricks. You know. Yes, like. yes, yes. But then, obviously, he came out clean as a whistle. Which was expected because I mean, it's Fuller, right? He's always in control. Even when he's not in control, he's still in control. I mean, that scene in the, in the in the bar at the end now. I mean, at the end now. But when he was in the bar and then he went into the dark room area. And then he just wanted to be Jay. But the other guy was like, no, no, let me turn you mm-hmm. around. That went out of control very quickly. Uh, and he shouldn't have been there in the first place. He should have been at home looking after Tim. <sighs> he said. But so sad. Like... You, you can you can see the the comparison the parallels between back then right it's Christmas he gifted Tim those cufflinks he gifted Lucy Lucy the this beautiful bracelet. bracelet yes but then right after he goes to the park to those public toilets right mm-hmm. and goes with a random guy mm-hmm. and he is doing the same thing and he is he doing the same thing he's <clears> meant <throat> to be with Tim looking after him yes. Nothing has but, changed, basically. Yeah. In a way, nothing has changed. In a way, it's just it's very sad because as much as there are parallels between him and Martin, it seems that Martin has accepted his gayness, and I guess they were both in different shoes back in the in in the fifties. No, like he had to get married to Lucy, I guess, because also Senator Smith, which. You know, he obviously works for Senator Smith, and even Senator Smith has questioned him. Yeah. He was like, how is one of the most eligible bachelors single? Yeah. You know? And that's the thing, like, especially someone like him in this kind of position. Yes. You know? In the State Department, whatever. He was almost like... It just seems weird. Hands are forced. It just seems weird that you're single at, at this age, you know? Especially if everybody's being investigated. Whereas with Tim, I don't know how much younger he is. Yeah. Right? But... Nobody, nobody's really questioning him. Well, they just call him like, oh yeah, he's a boy. He's, he's a good like... Catholic boy. Yeah. Yeah, because he's still a good Catholic boy. He's still young. Who, yeah. who knows how old he is. Probably not in this age range where you would expect to, to get married. But also probably, I guess it, at that time, because, uh, you know, um, Fuller, he has his own office. He has two assistants. You know, mm. he's earning a lot more money. I guess at that point you would also be expected to start a family, right? Yes, yes, Tim, yes. you know, you saw he he can afford a one bedroom. Um, but also Martin is you know in a, in a, in, a, in a different in a, in a different state uh, where he's obviously not being investigated as well. Mm-hmm. So obviously they they live different lives, and then ultimately they reach different lives in 
yeah. in the future or in the present. It was very nice to see Frankie. Right? But they're, they're still together. Yes, though. very, very nice super, to see Frankie. Nice. I, I loved it because in last week's episode, we saw that uh, fight that they had. had mm-hmm. And he obviously said, I like to go with real men. Right. And, yes. and Frankie being a drag queen, I guess, you know, he was somewhat implying, oh, you know, you're not a real man, but just just because he's a drag queen doesn't mean. Yeah. Um, and I like the fact that we're seeing how their relationships develops further here to the point actually where they're making love with Frankie being a drag, you know? I thought that was very yeah, interesting. I, as well. I guess it was just a bit of role play, you know? Like, yeah, but I like that actually. Yeah. It was interesting, you know, seeing that shift that that Martin went went through quite quickly. Um, I mean, I'm saying quite quickly. The show is moving very fast, actually. Yes. I guess move. Yeah, there's a lot of things we don't really see. No, like we saw Cone um, suddenly being married. No, 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 McCarthy. no Cone. McCarthy, McCarthy suddenly Sorry. being married. Like they only um, announced it at the end of the last episode, yes. and now they're already married. So. <laughs> you just you, you just said we're not seeing a lot of things happening, and I'm like, actually, I'm glad about it. I don't need to see David and and Roy in the <laughs> hotel room farting together. That was a bizarre thing, yeah. but okay. I was just thinking was at like, that moment when they were talking about it and saying it, I was like, I'm 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 sure you shouldn't be saying that because who knows those those telephones might be wired. But it's funny the way they were like he was like talking about it and like yeah we're gonna take a hotel room blah blah. blah. It sounds like it's not the first time no. they've done it. Yes. But also, I don't think they've actually ever done something together. It's weird, exactly. It's just this it's weird, weird, like, romance. Yes. Hanging out, wanting to do something, but actually nothing happens. I think Roy you know, wants like, this to just do role, something. This, yeah, yeah. Like a game, yeah. you know? Well... I think David takes advantage of Roy. Maybe David oh, knows that absolutely. Roy fancies him, so he takes advantage of that. And then yeah. Roy is like, oh, I can't have what I want, so at least I have him in the room with me. Yeah. Something like that, you know? Yeah. Um, and um, when they were at this dinner now with, with the two army officials, one of them even said, oh, uh, he's not stationed at the base. Mm-hmm. He has this penthouse in Manhattan, and he's receiving a lot of visits from Roy. Yes. And you could see McCarthy was like boiling, you know. So it is escalating. It is escalating very quickly, which is good. Yeah, but then you saw like McCarthy was trying to calm down the situation, but like, okay, there won't be any further demands. Exactly. And then he's like, oh, there will be if this and this and this. Yeah, and he's like, yeah, fine, fine, fine. Unless he's being moved overseas abroad, you know. Yes. Um, and then there was a scene where. Um, Tim and Hawkins are in the kitchen, present day, well, 1980s, mm-hmm. and they're talking, 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 and then Hawkins says, oh, I have lost someone, I know how it is, Yeah. and then he says, oh, I'm sorry, and then Tim says, how is Lucy dealing with it, right, and I thought, who is he talking about, could it be Lucy's brother, maybe, but could, then, he, could he have died from this, but then Hawk? wasn't really that close to him well but i guess he's still the brother of your wife no and i mean or maybe you're not close someone else that we don't know about yet but maybe, then why would lucy his parent, like his mother hmm. i hope they're gonna elaborate further what i didn't understand was when that scene with hawk and tim and then he gifted him the cufflinks and stuff. yes and then they he said goodbye and it sounded like yes. a goodbye like we won't see each other anymore yeah i agree with you i was a little confused there because the funny thing is so even if he would marry lucy mm-hmm. you could still go and see tim right but i guess the problem here is there is a difference between you know there's a difference between going to those toilets and just getting a quick bj yeah versus hanging out and spending time with a person you actually love right there is like it's a difference and with yeah. tim he loves him you know but maybe in his mind he actually made this decision of like i'm not going to see tim to anymore for the polygraph well as well yes but to that he's going to go forward with lucy uh-huh. right they're going to get married mm-hmm. he won't see tim anymore like he's making that decision 
But I guess we will see throughout time that even though he is married, he still wants to see Tim, right, and hang out with him. Yeah, we see it here in 1980s. He wants to spend time with him. And I guess it's exactly. also different reasons, you know, guilt and whatnot, but he wants to, he wants to uh, spend time with him. I mean, it's funny, you know, um, there is obviously this, this spell that Hawkins can put on Tim in an instant, but also mm. vice versa, right? Tim very much also has some form of control over Hawkins, you know? Uh, it might not be as strong as what, what Hawkins does with Tim, but yeah. nonetheless, Hawkins is under a spell when he is with Tim. True. But I think Hawk is always more in control. I agree. And also like, and then also using Tim. Oh yeah. By like giving him those documents yes. to give, to pass on to Or getting David, information you know? from him. Um, speaking about Lucy as well, when we saw she was talking to Tim on the phone. Yes. And you can tell they don't hate each other. No. She actually some... To some capacity cares for him. They care for each other. They maybe have some kind of pity for each other because they're in the same they're situation, in love with right? The same they're in idiot. love with the same person. Yes. They can't Get fully out of have him. No. Right? They're sharing him. And a couple of other men in toilets. <laughs> <laughs> sad, sad, sad. We need to have a chat with Hawkins for like get him on the phone, babe. That was crazy though. The Christmas thing. No, um, Hawk going to this club, right? Ah, oh, I like, know. Like not only that he was meant to look after Tim, I know. But obviously we know in the eighties with the AIDS crisis, yeah. with taking that risk. Well, he just wanted a BJ, you know. Yeah, but still, and he's it's, drunk. It's a risk. It's no, a but risk. He wasn't. You know, he was in the moment. Listen, you yeah. don't. I mean, he shouldn't have done it, but when you're in it and you're drunk and you're in the moment, you're in the moment. Yeah, but like, he's still waiting for the bloody results of the AIDS yeah, test. Yeah, that's And true. then he's going to a club. That's like, true. And I love how he always has Martin on, on the, you know, being like, ha, ha, ha. He, he's like that little nagging angel or almost like a devil angel situation that is like telling you, you fucked up your life. Yeah. How dare you? You're using him and all of that. Fun episode. Um, it's moving quickly. Christmas already. Um, I'm in, I'm enjoying the fact that McCarthy, Shine, and Roy are falling in apart, crumbling, and they're mm. going to start destroying each other. It's going to be exciting. Uh, yeah. Obviously, we 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 gays live for a little drama. <laughs> and I want to see what he's going to do with that other assistant. I want to see what Fuller is going to do with the other assistant. <clears throat> yeah. I'm also quite upset actually that we didn't see a close up of uh, Lucy's bracelet. I wanted to see if it was emeralds or diamonds. Uh, I, I think emeralds or, or, or rubies? I think it was emeralds. Diamonds and rubies. You said uh, diamonds emeralds. and emeralds. Yes. Sorry. Um, and we definitely need to find out more about that brother. Lucy's brother. Yes. I hope, as, as this continues, I hope they're going to tie up all those loose ends. Yeah, and let's see what's happening with, with Tim. Right? Now at the end. Oh, uh, the seizure. With, with the seizure. Yes, it's, yes. Not, it's not looking good. Yes. Right, that was episode four. Thank you all for being back here with us. It is a pleasure. And also thank you so much for the lovely comments. If you have not subscribed, please do subscribe. And we'll see you for the next one. Take care. Bye.